hello everyone i welcome you to my channel i have another rosy red dime i got the more yesterday i have not go down there today to check but i will be going there soon to see what they have for me but today i have this uh, 1965 oh boy do i ever wish i could get my hand on 1960 that would be silver I'm co coming close to it though. I got 65, 67, 68, but I'm itchy to get that 1960. So anyway, this one here is, uh, it's not bad though. It's not bad because you, you can see all the detail of this, uh, the battery and uh, it got withdraw. We, it's a little bit uh, erasing off. But it's not bad and what you see here in this line here I think it's, it's dirty it can be clean up but I didn't bother to do that it's the chick I'm talking to I'm worried about to know what happened it's always in and out so I don't know what happened there or the templates they are using or the double dye could it help okay at this side everything else is there to accept the band there is no band on this uh, dime no band at all so that's all about it don't really have too much to say about it it got a little bit scratch in and out but it's not bad compared to the age oh how old is the coin anyway let's look oh yeah i just said 1965 Yes, it's 1965, so you can see that it's not a bad coin at all, except all the uh, depot here, depot in, out. So that's all. Uh, I wouldn't complain too much about it. I see enough to see that the templates they are using is not really that great. And there's no mid mark on this coin. So I thought, okay. Every time I got a coin, I I like to put it up. So that's that may be one day I will stop. But right now I'm enjoying myself. It keeps me busy and uh, I don't have to sit down all day watching TV. So I go out every morning and uh, I uh, pick up my uh, coins from my friends downstairs. And uh, that's about it. I thank you all for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye.